So namaste yogis. Welcome to Yoga for Stress Reduction. You're welcome to settle into a comfortable seated position while I read our waiver. If you would like to grab a couple books or blocks or something to sit on, you're welcome to do that. In order to make these classes as freely accessible as possible to our participants, we'll be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of the class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury and by participating, you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you have moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or a class that involves laying on the ground, we recommend using a mat or if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice or care as needed. William & Mary Health and Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical exam and follow the advice of your healthcare provider before participating. So again, welcome. Around class today, I've designed some self-care practices as we're in the last week of classes and stepping into reading period and exams. So maybe some things that as you move through the next couple of weeks, you can come back to. But as always, we'll start first finding our breath and just noticing it. We're not going to do anything to change the breath at first. We're just noticing that it's there. We're just noticing its natural rhythm with the body. Not doing anything to change it. And then as you begin to settle a little more into the space, maybe just wiggling on the sits bones a little bit, maybe rocking side to side or forwards and back, just noticing how maybe the breath shifts a little. Then drawing awareness to the hands. We're gonna take the palms if it's available to you and just place them facing down towards the ground to start. And then drawing awareness into the spine, beginning to lengthen the spine just a little bit. Notice as you lengthen the spine, a little more room created on the front side of the body. Maybe noticing the breath deepen a little. And then just notice what's going on in the rest of the body right here and now. Just taking that quick look from head to toe, and then toe to head, just noticing. And we're noticing in a space of curiosity and not judgment. See if you can make any shifts and changes to maybe find a little more comfort if something is uncomfortable. And then come back to the breath. Allow yourself some time right now to just just explore the breath, deepening each inhale, lengthening each exhale. Taking a few rounds here, just each inhale, sipping in a little more air, each exhale, making it a little longer. Notice any shifts or changes that happen within the body as you do that. You might notice the spine lengthen a little. You might need to make a few more little adjustments. You might want to turn the palms up as a little more energy comes into the body now. And then as you are ready, you're just gonna settle into a rhythm of breath that just feels right in this moment. There's no right or wrong to this. 
but you're gonna find that inhale that brings that sense of peace and calm. That exhale that just mirrors that. And then drawing hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, prayer hands. Closing the eyes if you're comfortable here and just letting an intention form for practice today. Maybe an I am statement or something positive. And then sealing that intention in, just taking a nice long inhale, long exhale. And then if the eyes are closed, just blinking the eyes open and taking the palms now and just starting to rub them together. Maybe rubbing them a little bit more creating a little friction, a little heat. And then once you've created enough heat, you're gonna separate the hands and cup them and just place them over your eyes. Just letting the heat absorb on. Noticing that sense of comfort. Something beautiful to do maybe after you've been spending a lot of time reading or studying. And then from here, taking the fingers and just starting to draw them along your hairline, the four fingers just massaging maybe adding the thumb in along the jawline. Move the fingers down into the forehead, let them circle the eyes. Let the thumbs trace the jawline, invoking relaxation. Separating the hands, bringing them down, maybe just opening and closing the mouth a few times, releasing any tension. And then just closing the eyes if you're comfortable with that and just noticing the sense of peace and calm that you brought into. The face. Maybe a little deeper relaxation there. And then moving on from here, just kind of cupping the hands as if you were gripping something. You're just going to massage the head a little bit. Starting at the top, moving your way around, letting the thumb come along that occipital, finding the base of the skull. If you find some place that feels a little bit more intense, just holding there but just relaxing the head just a little bit. And then when you're finished massaging the scalp, just let it go. Adding a little more blood flow up into the head. And then when you're ready, bringing the hands back together, we're just gonna create a little more heat Once you have the heat, if you'd like to let the legs come long, you can. We're just gonna take the hands and place them along the sides here and just let that heat move into the hip, the TFL. And we spend a lot of time seated, sometimes just generating a little heat in the space, a little circular action feels really great. Remembering you can do that to a knee, an arm, a wrist. Just sending a little love to the joint. And then coming back to Sukhasana, switching the legs if you haven't already done that. 
we're just gonna take our two fingers here, our index and middle finger, and we're just gonna tap on our sternum just a little bit. Just drawing up and down, just adding a little bit of energy. One more time, up and down. And then from here, just moving right up into the sinuses. The sinuses right underneath the eyes and right above the eyes. Just that little gentle tapping. And then when you're ready, letting the palms come down. Maybe notice a little deeper inhale, a little opening in the chest. And then turning the palms down towards the earth, we're just gonna round the back and come into a cat. Rolling to the back of the sit bones, pushing the spine out. Inhaling, drawing the navel forward, lift the gaze. Start this gentle movement with the breath back and forward. One more round here. Making your way back to center. Letting the palms come along the side of the body. Bringing the gaze to neutral, lengthening the spine, lift the arms up and overhead. Draw the palms together, bring the hands through heart center. One more time, lifting the arms up and overhead. Maybe take the gaze up this time, hands through to heart center. This third time, as we lift the arms up and overhead, we're going to turn the palms towards the front. And we're just going to let the palms come down to the floor in front of us. Let's spread the fingers nice and wide. Let's draw awareness into the sit bones as we lengthen the spine here. If it feels right to walk the hands out a little bit more, go ahead and go there. And then on an inhale with the core engaged, you're going to lift the palms back up. Palms are still facing the front. You're going to switch your legs out and then come forward again. Equally stretching the backside of the pelvis, opening up the head. Then on your next inhale, you're going to engage the core. You're going to come all the way up. And you're going to let the palms face each other, gaze up towards the palms, bring the palms together, let them float through to heart center. And then just checking in with your breath, finding that beautiful breath. Then as you're ready from here, we're gonna transition into tabletop. Taking your time to find your tabletop, you're gonna set it up with the hands first. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Let the shoulders be over the wrists. Bring the weight into the MIP joint, the space and the fingers here, out of the rest. Then knees underneath hips. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Feel the knees left, the core engaged. Notice the way it shifts from the knees to the shins. Drawing awareness to the crown of the head. Start reaching the crown of the head towards the top of your mat. 
And then draw awareness to your tailbone. See if you can reach your tailbone towards the back end of your mat. Settle into your breath as the body becomes more active. Notice maybe the shifts and changes in the breath. Take a quick peek between your legs. Make sure you don't see your feet. Make sure everything's lined up nice. And then from this space, while we're still in this tabletop, we're just going to rock to the left and the right. Just shifting the weight. Allowing the sides to open up a little bit. After your next round, come back to neutral. And then move through that cow and cat back like we did seated. Notice the mobility of the pelvis as you have a little more room to tuck. After a few rounds of cow and cat, Maybe add in a little organic movement. Maybe that bump out to the side in the cow and the cat. Maybe some circular motion with the hips. Maybe some shifting forwards and back. Doing whatever you need to, to become aware of all of the joints in the body. So if that means taking a, a bow down, go ahead and go there. Coming up onto the toes, finding out what the toes have to say today. And then making your way back to As you come, you're just gonna flip the palms over. The fingers are going to face each other. You're going to spread the fingers nice and wide as you're on the tops of the hands. You're going to maybe rock side to side or draw some circles with the wrists. If it feels good to draw the thumb to each of the finger pads, go ahead and go there, making your way back and forth. If you'd like to draw the fingers into a bit of a fist, go ahead and go there. And then releasing the hands. You're going to come onto the fingertips here. And just let yourself move through a cow and a cat on your fingertips. Come back to neutral. And then draw the big toes together as you sink the hips back to the heels and find your first child's pose of practice. So know that you have lots of options here. If it feels right to have the arms out in front, lengthening, getting a little more stretch in the body, you're welcome to go there. If it feels as if you'd like to draw a little more breath into the back body with a little internal rotation of the shoulders, bring the hands along the side of the body in traditional velocity. If you'd like to explore both, you are more than welcome to. Taking some time here. I allowed a little extra time here in child's pose today. As a nice yin style posture. See if you can find stillness here. Let the breath do the work. Maybe letting some of the connective tissue open up. See where your breath is at as we fold it. Maybe it's a little restricted. Allow yourself to just adjust with it.
then wherever you are at in your child's pose, we're all gonna meet with the arms reaching out in front. We're gonna make this more active now. So drawing awareness into those finger pads, letting them grip the mat, find the edges of the hands on the mat. As you grip the mat, almost that feeling of that suction cup in that center of the palm. If the elbows are still on the mat, allow the elbows to lift the forearms up. Then drawing awareness into the shoulder blades, let them relax down the back. Notice the breath may be deep. And then as you're ready, bringing awareness back into those hands, you're gonna grip them out a little more. You're gonna pull yourself up into tabletop again. Then allowing ourselves to activate the core, we're going to draw awareness into the left foot. We're gonna extend the left foot long on the mat. You're gonna make sure all five toes are touching the mat and that left hip point is pointed down towards the mat. You've got that beautiful flexion in the foot and if it feels right to just lift the heel up, maybe just about six inches. You're pressing the top of the right foot into the mat. The hips are even here. You're welcome to stay here, but if you want to add the right hand reaching out, keep the gaze down at the mat. Let the breath move through the right middle finger all the way through the body, exit the left heel. Inhale through the left heel. Let the breath exit through the right middle finger. Two more rounds of breath here. And then as you're ready, drawing the right hand down to the mat, left knee to the mat. It's like a cat and a cow or a cow and a cat, however it feels right for you. Settling back in, finding that tabletop. You all know where we're going now. We're gonna move to the other side. So making sure that core is nice and engaged, that left foot is pressing into the top of the mat as you extend the right leg long. Find all five toes in the mat, that beautiful flexion in the foot. As you're ready with that core engaged, just lifting that right heel up, push through that right heel. Then if it feels right to add in the left hand, go ahead and go there. We'll do the same thing with the breath here. Inhale through that left middle finger, exhale through the right heel. Inhale through the heel. Let it exit through the left finger. Keep breathing. Let the breath move across the body. Keep the body stable. Keep the gaze down at the mat. One more round of breath here. Then bringing the left hand down, right knee down. Take that cat and cow if it feels right. And this time you have the option to come into either a child's pose that feels right for you or to come to hero's pose. Just sitting back on the heels, bringing palms maybe to heart center and just checking in. Noticing your breath. Noticing the shifts and changes. Staying in this moment. Notice the spaces where you've created that 
little bit of heat like we did in the beginning of class with our hands. And then as you're ready, we're going to reach the arms forward wherever you're at. You're going to tuck your toes. You're going to lift your hips and we're going to find our first downward dog of this practice. So we're going to take some time here to open that posterior chain a little bit. So we're going to walk our dog a little bit. As you bend one knee, draw the chest a little closer to that leg. Taking time to spread the fingers nice and wide. Gripping the mat like we did in both tabletop and child's pose, making the hands active. And then pausing in stillness when it feels right for you. You may be in stillness up high on the toes, or maybe you start sinking the heels down towards the mat. Shaking the head, yes and no, releasing any tension. And then finding that same core engagement we had in our spinal balance. So just lifting the hips just a little higher. And then drawing awareness back into the legs. You're just going to float the shins, the knees forward. You're going to hover the shins. Press the chest back into the quads. Lift the hips and come a little deeper. Back into down dog. Moving through this at your pace, three rounds. Loading the shins forward, pausing if you want to challenge yourself a little more, then pressing the chest back and lifting the hips up, loading the heels back. Two more rounds at your pace making it as mindful as you need. After your third round, finding stillness in that down dog. Just settling here. Three breath cycles. And then floating the knees down to the mat, finding either child's pose or hero varasana. Releasing the rests as you need to. And then pausing in stillness, just checking in. Noticing shifts and changes, maybe in that posterior chain. Notice shifts and changes in the mind space and the breath. And then as you're ready, reaching the hands out in front, we're going to make our our way to a down dog as a transitional pose. And then drawing awareness into the hands. You're going to mindfully walk the hands back to the feet. Drawing the abs onto the quads. Once the hands get back to the feet, you're going to shake the head yes and no. Maybe holding on to opposite elbows. As you just release the crown of the head down towards the floor. Draw your awareness again into the toes. Maybe taking the hands and just lifting each toe up individually. Letting the toes settle down onto the mat. 
then tracing the hands up to the shin. Find that tabletop back here. On an exhale, release. And then bringing the hands down to the floor, you're gonna walk the hands back out. You're gonna find that down dog. Maybe noticing you're able to bring the heels a little more comfortably down as you open up the backside a little more. Two more breaths here and down dog. Shake the head yes and no. And then rolling forward into a plank here. Nice activated core. You're going to lower the knees, come onto the tops of the feet. You're going to hug the elbows in and slow as you can, lower all the way down to the mat. Third eye is on the mat, hands are under those shoulder heads. You're hug, hug, hugging those elbows in. You're pressing the tops of the feet into your floor. So the knees left and the core is engaged. You're going to take an exhale, letting all the air out. And then on an inhale, with little to no weight in the hands, you're going to use the back and the core strength to Left just a little bit, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhaling maybe a little bit deeper. Exhale, release. Third time, finding your deepest expression. Exhale, release. Then pressing up into either tabletop or play, you're finding your downward dog. In this space, you're gonna mindfully walk the hands back again towards the feet, finding that nice forward fold. Resting the abs on the quads, Maybe shaking the head yes and no to release any tension. And then starting to draw the head down towards the floor. Crown of the head reaching for the floor. Tracing the hands up the shins. Find that tabletop back. Exhale, release. And then drawing awareness into the feet again, spreading those toes nice and wide, ground down into the feet, start bending the knees, bring the hands to heart center, nice long spine, push into the floor, come on up, samasthiti, hands at heart center, long spine. And then from this space in Samasthiti, we're going to move into our tree pose. So from here, coming up onto the toes of the left foot, beginning to take that left knee and just externally rotating it out towards the side, maybe resting that left heel on the right leg, making sure the hip points are pointing towards the front of the room, that core engaged, hips nice and even. From here, either deciding you're gonna lift that foot up, resting it on the shin or the quad. And then from this space, reaching the hands up and overhead. Settling into your breath. Left from the core. And then drawing the palms together, hands back down to heart center. Bring the foot back to the floor. Spin the knee to the front. Come down onto both feet equally. And then drawing awareness to that right leg. First, we'll turn that foot over, stretch that right foot. 
Then bringing the foot back to the floor, find that samasthiti, grounding down into those feet. Nice left in the core. Then up onto the toes to the right foot. Spin that right knee out. Make sure that the hip points are pointing towards the front of your mat. And then from here, either the heel on the leg or lifting the foot up. And from this space, reaching the arms up and overhead. Maybe you want to move in the wind on this side. And wherever you're at, finding that stillness, drawing the palms together, hands through to heart center, bringing the toes back down to the mat, spinning that right knee back to center, foot to the floor. And then let's stretch the top of this left foot. Then bringing the feet back to the floor. Let's separate the hands and find our sturdy mountain. Settling into mountain pose. Feeling the strength, the stability that we've created so far in our practice. And then from this space, we're going to lift the arms up and overhead. We're going to take the gaze up towards the hands. We're going to bring the palms together. We're going to find those prayer hands. We're going to push the hips forward, giving us a little back bend, a little energizer. And then coming back to neutral, let the hands float through to heart center. Samasthiti. Noticing maybe the shifts that the back bend gave us, a little heart opening. Releasing the hands down to mountain, find your strength, your stability. Lifting the arms up and overhead. This time, swan dive forward, bending the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, take that half left. Exhale, release. Walking the hands out. You're going to find that down dog. Our last down dog of practice. So we are going to use this down dog to create as much space and energy in the body. So we'll be here for five nice breath cycles. Allow yourself to find as much grounding in the feet as you can. Grounding in the hands. That weight equally distributed between the hands and the feet. That beautiful core engagement. After your fifth round of breath, you're going to mindfully, gently lower the knees to the mat, finding your tabletop. Taking a cat and a cow and tabletop. And then swinging the legs to either the right or the left, you're going to come down onto your sit bones. As we make our way to the feet at the top of the mat. Taking time to just stop. So shoulders over hips, core engaged, crown of the head reaching. Legs are active. The toes have that beautiful flexion in them. They're reaching towards the ceiling. See if you can draw a little more awareness into the big toe. 
get the inner thighs involved and engaged. That feeling of zipping up the entire midline of the body. And then find those prayer hands. Allow yourself to just breathe here. Make sure you have that nice micro bend in the knee. And then from this space, you're welcome to bend the knees a little bit more. We're going to recline down onto the mat and we're going to do it mindfully and slow. You're going to find those vertebrae articulating them down one at a time, making this a little bit of core work for yourself. So if you want to to pause in a space and hold, engaging the muscles a little bit more, finding that shake going there, engaging, you're welcome to. As the shoulder blades reach for the mat, allowing the head to just gently touch. And then releasing the hands along the side of the body. Let the palms face down. Tuck the shoulder blades under. Get them nice and relaxed on the mat. Bring the feet to the floor. And then adjust the pelvis here so that the pelvis is resting nicely on the mat. From here, just rock the knees side to side. Just a little massage of the pelvis. We ask that low back to do a lot. And then pausing in stillness here. You're gonna find that grounding down into the feet. You're gonna draw awareness into the breath. We're gonna do some dynamic bridges here. So inhaling, you're gonna lift the hips up. Exhale, you're gonna articulate the spine down. We're gonna do three to five rounds here. Keeping the movement with your cycle of breath. Deepening if it feels right. We're just making it nice and gentle. After your three to five rounds, if you want to come into a full bridge, you're welcome to tucking the shoulders underneath drawing the hands together, pressing the hips up, and then releasing back down to the mat. Hug the knees into the chest here. And then releasing the hands from the legs. We're going to lift the feet into the air, finding legs up the wall. And then getting ready for our deep relaxation as you're ready to release the feet to the floor and let the legs go along. As always, we will move through a deep relaxation practice. So allowing yourself to find all the spaces where the body is touching the mat. Letting the breath settle you in a little more. Softening the body. Beginning to draw awareness into the feet. 
Allow yourself to spread the toes wide, hug the toes in, and then on an exhale, just let them go. Let the feet move to wherever they would like on the mat. Then drawing awareness from there into the lower part of the leg, the calves. Just letting the calves soften and relax. Settling a little bit more comfortably into the mat. Then draw awareness from here up into the quads, the hamstrings. Maybe just engaging the quads a little bit and just on an exhale, let them go. As you soften the legs, just noticing the shifts and changes in the lower half of the body. There's that message of deep relaxation was sent there. As the lower half relaxes, let the glutes come along for the ride. Noticing how even probably on your mat, they're engaged, just love and soften. Then drawing awareness into the abs, the low back. Allow yourself on an exhale to release and relax. Drawing awareness into the middle back, the upper chest, the upper back. Maybe a nice inhale. Feel the expansion of the thoracic cavity, the rib cage. Nice, long, slow exhale, letting it just soften and relax down onto the mat. Then drawing awareness up along the shoulders. Just noticing any tension that might be there and exhale and letting it go. As this is a space where many of us have a lot of tension here, just letting it soften on each exhale. Then drawing awareness into the hands, make some fists and release. Noticing as you Draw some tension in in the fist, the forearm, the upper arm. Notice as you release the relaxation. Just letting the hands soften, the arms soften. Then drawing awareness to the back of the neck. Maybe on an inhale, let the breath draw up through the back of the neck, over the head, and wash over the forehead. As if maybe a waterfall. Just releasing any tension that might be left in the head, the scalp, the forehead. Then drawing attention to the rest of the face. Exhaling, releasing any residual tension. It feels good to open and close that jaw again like we did at the beginning of class, releasing any tension. Then drawing awareness into the tongue in the mouth. As you draw awareness into the tongue, allowing the tongue to just float in place. Not touching the top or the bottom or the teeth. 
maybe wiggling it around a little bit, maybe even opening the mouth again one more time and just sticking the tongue out and drawing it back in. And then just noticing this beautiful, deep sense of relaxation. Taking the time here. Maybe noticing as if you were floating on your mat. And then as we close practice in Shavasana today, allowing yourself time in deep relaxation. Noting this feeling, noting the spaces that we opened up or we found awareness of in class today. The things that you can take off your mat into this last few days of classes, into reading period, into final exams. And thank you all so much for the privilege of getting you through this practice today. I hope the benefits of practice follow you into the rest of your day today and hopefully into the rest of your week. May you all be happy, may you be safe, and you'll walk this earth always in loving kindness, with peace, and always with ease. From my heart to all of your hearts, Namo Namaha. Namaste.